Let me do a video response to uh, KFW's uh, subscriber giveaway. And he wants to know what we think about the future of YouTube and uh, with reloading and uh, guns and things like that. How do I feel about it? What do I think? Well, I'm skeptical. The reason being is the Supreme Court is not going by the, the original intent of the Constitution. They're going by what other judges said about the Constitution instead of basing their facts on the Constitution itself. If they read the Declaration of Independence, they read the Federalist Papers, they would understand our Constitution as well as what we understand it. Uh, so until they make a, a ruling on our behalf to get these monkeys off of our back, I don't look for the future of uh, uh, reloading videos and such on YouTube to stay afloat. Now, the reloading network will probably be okay in other places like that, but the rest of these things, no. No. Seems like they're more interested in putting porn on there than what they are about uh, real skills and real life and things like that. I wanted to show you guys some of the uh, tumblers. Well, this one here, it's a model AR2. And it has uh, two drums, one there, one there, whereas the other one, um, it is the uh, model AR, AR6, and it has one big, big uh, tumbler, and then this one here is the Templars model B. Now if you notice they all have the same mode, drive motor on there. So it's easy to, if something was to happen, I could, you know, change things over. But this here, uh, it, it has the one with all the, the bolts and stuff, which is a lot better than these things because these things use a, a rubber uh, gasket band to hold them in place, to hold the lid in. And when you break them, then you're kind of screwed. So I actually used a piece of wire to to hold that one in place. I got tired of looking around for stuff. But anyway, this is a pretty good tumbler. I didn't I didn't I wasn't smart enough to get the ones with the pins. I I got this and I didn't order the pins cuz it it didn't seem to be, you know, logical since I had uh Oh, like 24 pounds of the Lyman uh, media to put in there to tumble the stuff in. But uh, I kind of wish now I had gotten uh, the the brass steel pins. Or yeah, brass steel pins. Uh, Same with the steel pins for it. But I didn't. I wasn't that smart. Like I said, this one here has two... Uh, Little things on there. Once I had, uh, well, what do they call that stuff? All that what a uh, pumice in there. It was like pumice, uh, like uh, lava junk, and you put that in there to polish stuff that you didn't want to scratch at all. And that worked out pretty good for polishing jewelry and things like that, if you had a woman around. But uh, I switched it over to the uh, media after I had a bunch of washing and cleaning out to do. I'll tell you that. Uh, and this one here, it's, uh, you know, it's twice the size of what these are. And it holds a, holds a good deal, probably about 300, I guess, I could put in there, maybe 338 or something. And this one here, uh, I, I really like, I wish they, they would come out with this in the beginning. It sure would have saved a lot of uh, time. But I got it. I was I was telling Georgia boy about it before I was gonna you know post something on the uh, brass polishing uh, machines, but I keep forgetting. So I got around to it today, 
and uh, there you go and uh, so uh, I this is a VR to KFW and uh, if I win what do I want uh, I could always use another press okay guys thanks for watching